Hello, Minuki Sikat. Hello, Bushu Minuki Sikat. Today we have a lot of visitors here today and they're very happy to be here and we are going to learn what they are called in Ojibwe. We're also going to learn how to count. So hope it's a fun session for the moms and the children and hope you can learn a little song. Um, so we're going to sing a little song. It's going to get you up to five. It's going to go. Basic knees and Nishina base suck. This way knee win and Nishina base suck. Non in at day and Nishina base suck. Non in a gee was ain't suck. So let's sing it together again. Basic knees and Nishina base suck. This way knee win and Nishina base suck. Non in at day and Nishina base suck. So like when you learn this song and you sing this song, you can count up to five in Anishinaabe. So let's see here. I think I have five otter right here. Look at here. Bajik ni janishina basug niswe ni win anishina basug nan in ette anishina basug nana nan in anishina anishina be so you can you can add nigig nigig five little otter to the song as you count so we are going to introduce you to all of these Awesiwug. And um, here is here's a raccoon. See, their eyes are AC bun, basic knees, AC bun, AC bun. Basic knees. Knees AC bun. And here we have Mishtadam. Mishtadam. A horse. Basic knees Mishtadam. Baby go ganji. Baby go ganji. It means talking about their hoofs. Baby go ganji, another name for a horse in Anishinaabe. And over here they say, Mr. Mr. Tim, Mishtadam. Or for children, they might say, oh, there's Mr. Tim, Mishtadam. Basic knees, two horses. Now you might know this little guy, Wabakanuji Aints. It's a little mouse. I only have one little mouse with me today with his little tail. Wabakanuji Aints. Basic Wabakanuji Aints. Basic one Wabakanuji Aints. I have this guy. He is got real long horns, heavy chest in there. This this is a <coughs> this is a elk, a dick, basic, a dick. It's an elk. You can tell with his antlers and the way he's built. A dick. Basic a dick. An elk. Here's another one. Wawashkeshi. 
Wawashkeshi. Wawashkeshi wug. Basic knees. Wawashkeshi wug. The spotted deer is called a get the goots. A baby spotted deer. Get the goots. And you can see the deer. His horns are different. This is a male deer. Ayabe. Get the gagoons. Ayabe wawashgeshi. Basic niche wawashgeshi wak. Now look at here. We got a moose. See his antlers? Moose. That's how you say his name in Nishnabe. Moose. So we got three moose. Bejik, Nij, Niswe. Bejik, Nij, Niswe. Bejik, Nij, Niswe. Moose. Musun. Moose. Look at here, we got a spring, a spring little amu, basic amu. You don't want to get stung by amu. And he's out there flying around, getting food for his, his some um, babies, They're her babies. Zzz, amu, amu. Yep, Amu likes flowers. Basic one, basic Amu. See his wings and his colors. You gotta be careful because they got little stingers and they hurt. Amu. Look at here. Megizzi, Megizzi eagle, Bajic Megizzi, Bajic Megizzi, one eagle, Megizzi. Yep, everybody likes Megizzi, Megizzi's eagle, eagle feathers. See, Megizzi, it's a bald eagle, it's got a white tail and a white head. Megizzi, Megizzi. Basic Mikizzi. Look at here. Hello. Basic one. Bibijiki. Kichi Bibijiki. Musco day. It is a buffalo. Bijiki. Gichi Bijiki. Yep. Say hello. Buju. Bejik. Gichi Bibijiki. Look at what we have here. Buju, it's my Ingen. Hello, my Ingen. Look at the little my Ingen. My Ingen. Bejik Nij. My Ingen Inks. Bejik Nij. Two, my Ingen. My Ingen means wolf in the Nishnabe. My Ingen. Oh, that's how he, that's how my Ingen sounds when he's singing. Yeah, my Ingen, basic knees, my Ingen. Look at this little guy. What is it? What is his name is Spike. 
spike is a, a porcupine. Look at there, you gotta watch out for his quills. Porcupine. They like to get up in the trees and they like to eat the new buds in the spring. You'll see the porcupine. Gog. Can you say gog? Gog. Beijic gog. Gog. There's your porcupine. They got quills and they they like to take his long hair and put it in a por in a in a dance head roach. Gog. His pointy little nose. But I wouldn't get too close because he's got them quills. Yep. Beijic. Look at this little guy. See his stripes on his back? This little guy, no, nah, he's not a squirrel. He's a gussie. A gussie. He's a chipmunk. Chipmunk. A gussie. Beijic. A gussie. Chipmunk. Yeah, they're just cute. They're about the same size as a squirrel, but they're little chipmunks. And you can tell by the little marks on their back. A goosey chipmunk. I didn't forget about these guys. Zob. You might know him as Bigfoot. This is Bigfoot. Zob. Yeah. Nobody ever gets to see Bigfoot. Too often, he is your thought life. So, we have sob. See how many sobs? Bajic, Nij, Niswe, Niwin, Nanin, Ngodaswe, Nijwaswe, Ishwaswe, Changaswe, Madaswe. Counting up to ten. There's ten. Bigfoot right there. We have Beijic Mei Mingua. One butterfly. Beijic Mei Mingua. One caterpillar. And little baby, little baby ones on the leaf. So Beijic Mei Mingua. This is the process of what of of the life cycle of the butterfly. They make a cocoon, they turn into a caterpillar, they lay their they lay their eggs on the leaves, and then they turn into a caterpillar, then they turn into a cocoon, then they turn into a butterfly. A Mei Mingua. So that's the cycle. They turn into the caterpillar, the caterpillar make a cocoon, and then when the cat cocoon opens up, it comes into a butterfly, a mei mingua, basic mei mingua. Here we go again. Beijic Wagush. Wagush. This is a red fox. Misqua Wagush. Beijic Wagush. Yeah, Wagush. Hello, Wagush. A red fox. See his tail, his white ears, his black legs, his little black on his ears. That is a a true north wagush. That's wagush. Here we got some more little friends. So here we go. We got a gray squirrel and a red squirrel. Flying squirrels. Ajitumu, 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 misqua ajitumu, 
a red squirrel. Look at his beautiful tail. Ajitamu. Can you say that? Ajitamu. Bejik Niswe Niwin Ajitamu. Ajitamu. Then you can count. Bejik Nij Niswe. Bejik Nij Niswe. Bejik Nij Niswe. Ajitamu. This is Ajitamu. You can see him in your yard. He likes to climb trees and collect oak nuts and various stuff from the trees. Here we go now. I got some more here. Look at here. Me canock. Me canock. Misquadese. Misquadese is a painted turtle. And they're a little smaller and they're very pretty underneath their shells are orange. And then a me canock, he's a snapper. Like. So we have turtle. Me canock. Beige. Nij. This way. Can you say that? Bejik Nij Niswe. Count the turtles. Bejik Nij Niswe. Mikanak. Mikanak is how you say his name in Nishnabe. Mikanak or Masquad de Se for a little painted turtle. Little turtle. Little turtle buries his eggs, her eggs in the sand, and then a bunch of little turtles are born. You gotta be careful for the turtles in the spring because they like to come out and come out of the lake and um, cross the roads. So we gotta watch for them. Now, we have two rabbits. Bejik Nij. We have a cottontail and we have a jackrabbit. This is what they look like. These are natural to Minnesota and the Northland. And this is the cottontail rabbit with the little white tail. And this is the jackrabbit. Boozhu. Bejik Nij. Waboos. 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 And then here's two more to add for counting. Bejik Nij Niswe Niwin. Bejik Nij Niswe Niwin. That's four. So. Bejik Nij Niswe Niwen, four, four waboos. 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 Niwen waboos. Bejik nij niswe niwen. Bejik nij niswe niwen. Four waboos. And here's the, here's the animals we seen earlier. Nagig. It's Nagig. Look at his beautiful feet. He's very beautiful. The otter. Nagig. He plays in the water and he's very, and he's very playful. Nagig. The otter. Otters. Otters are really nice. They play in the water. See? Nikig. Nikig. 
they're always playing so we'll say basic knees Nikki this way knee when Nikki non in Nikki five Nikki so that's how you say otter a Nikki so there's five of them basic knees this way knee win nonin nonin five nonin five otter so look at here what we got oh my goodness nope it's not a cat it's not a kitten Shigog. This is a skunk. A shigog. See his white? He's all black and he's got white on his back and his tail. That is a skunk. You gotta watch out for the skunk. Yeah. But some people like the skunk, but he does spray. He has a defense and he sprays, oh, and it takes for a long time to get rid of that smell. But if you breathe that smell in, when you see the skunk, you'll get well. He helps your breathing. And he's actually a protector in some ways. So, basic niche, basic niche, counting one, two. Basic niche Chicago. Chicago. Can you say that? Chicago. That's a skunk. Now we're moving on here. And we got some more. Hello, bonjour. Ni ni an ni a mek nindejina kaz. My name is Beaver. I have big, strong teeth, so I can chew on the trees. And I have whole family. Look at here, basic knees. There's another beaver. Look at his tail. Don't get hit by the tail. The beaver likes to hit people with his tail, and he can jump, and he got teeth. He's got two front teeth, see, they really chew. That's how they're able to make dams and make um, beavers nest in the water. Yeah, that's the beaver. And we're going to count. See, here's another one with his teeth and his flat tail. So... So let's count the beaver now, okay? Basic, niche, this way, that's three. Basic, niche, this way, niwin, nanin, and go das way. No. Um. Yeah, five beaver. We went to six. Nishwa, Miss Ringo Daswe. Basic, basic, Nish, Niswe, Niwen, Nanin. Five beaver. That's five of the beaver. Now we're going to learn some more. We're moving down again to another group of Oasiwug for you to see. Now yep, that's all. Bijou. Bijou. 
These are Bijou. See the lion? See the cat, Gajagains? That's also a Bijou. Your cat at home, we call him Gajagains when he's a Bijou. This is a lion, we call him a Bijou. This is a tiger, he's got stripes. He's a Bijou. There's two striped tigers, they're Bijou. Look at here, we got a spotted tiger. Get the ga bijou, a spotted tiger. Get the ga a bijou. And then we have three lynx. See these lynx? These are small like bobcats. They live in the they live in the woods. And they live here. And they're natural to Minnesota. These are lynx. Bobcats. A bijou. Bijou. Can you say a bijou? That means a cat. Wild cat. Bajik. Nish. This way. Count them. Bajik. Nish. This way. Three lynx. Three cats. Three bijou. And then these other ones are from like your house cat and your cats from like Africa. So, Bajik, Nij, Niswe, Niwen, Nanin, Ningodaswe, Niswaswe, Ishwaswe, Nidaswe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up to eight. Ningodaswe. So that's your Biju. Biju. Now we have bears and we have a lot of bears so far in the north they have makwa makwa wabishki makwa wabishki makwa lives on the ice in antarctica wabishki makwa and as the ice melts wabishki makwa is losing his home so they're moving this way to uh Canada and America border. Wabishki Makwa. Bejik Nij Wabishki Makwa. Now we have some more. Now these are the kinds that we have around here. Makade Makwa. Makade Makwa a black bear. So, how many black bears do we got here? Bejik, Nish, Niswe, Niwen, Niwen is four. Bejik, Nish, Niswe, Niwen, and number five, Nanin. We got five makwa. So let's sing. Bejik nish makade makwa. Niswe ni win makade makwa. Nanin ette makade makwa. Nanin makade makwa. Five black bear. Here we got some more. Ozawa makwa. Cinnamon bears, brown bears. Ozawa makwa. Makwa. Ozawa makwa. Bejik, Nij, Niswe, Niwen, Nanin. So let's sing. Bejik ni josawa makwa niswe ni win osawa makwa nanin ette osawa makwa nanin osawa makwa five bear
So there the bear are out. It's springtime. The skunks are out. Now we got some more animals that are out. Look at here. How many do we got? Three, four. <coughs> Look at here. Just cute. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. So you can hear the frogs, mucka key. Look at there, basic mucka key. So when the springtime comes and all the snow is gone, and you can hear the frogs out there, then you know it's time to go get walleye. It's the walleye are running, so then you can go fishing. And you hear them croaking out there at night. Ribbit, 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 and chirping away. There's are the frogs, muckaki. Can you say muckaki? Muckaki, muckaki. Hello, boujou. A mucka key in Dejinikas. So we're gonna count we're gonna count the mukwa. We got a lot. Look at this mukwa. Three bullfrogs. These are bullfrogs. That one is two. We're gonna count the bullfrogs. Look at this one. They're spotted like that. These are not toads, these are frogs. So, they're all frogs. Count them. Bajic, Nij, Niswe, Niwin, Nanin. Count up to five again. There they are. Bajic, Nij, Niswe, Niwin Nanin. Omakaki. Omakaki. Makaki. Basic knees, makaki. This way, knee win, makaki, gay. Five. Non in, makaki. Here. And this is the life of the makaki. See the turtle? They make in the little eggs, they make little tadpoles. See, and then the tadpoles turn into a frog. You can kind of see. Here's a tadpole, then it grows, and it's like that. They look like little fish with swimmers. Then they start to develop into a frog. And in the last stage, they've developed these legs, and then they turn into the frog. So that's the life cycle of a frog. And they turn into these little tadpoles. Makaki. Oh, Makaki. So I don't have a lot of fish, for, like these little furry fish. I do have them in here, but I'm not going to bring them out. But I do have fish in here, and I have snakes in here, and different northern animals, in, in including, um, there's a bug in there. It's a grasshopper, but they're real small. So I'm going to put them over here. But anyways, here's um, a goldfish in that. But for an example, how to say fish. Hold your nose and say, Gego, Gego. Basic niche, Gego. These are Gego, a fish. Gego. And some fish have real names like our fish out there. We have what we call a sturgeon, we call it neme. We have a trout, we call it oga. Um, so we have different names for the fish too. 
that swim in our lakes that we eat so but just how to say fish for children gigu gigu basic niche so we're still counting basic niche and we should be able to count all the way up to five at least with all the way so wug okay so we got some birds and some ducks we're just gonna have them all together um a benashi is a bird and some of the birds have their own name like this is called mong this is a loon and he calls for rain when you hear the loon then you know it's gonna rain um but that's what he looks like on the water He's all black and he has some little white spots on him. And he's called Mong. Mong. Here's another one. This one is a duck. How you say duck? Shishibug. Shishibug. When this is a mallard kind of a duck. By his green head and his wings. Um, so, but we'll just call them Beneshi. Beneshi birds. So anyways, this is a this is a blue jay. They look kind of like that. They're blue and they fly to your house and that's when you know you're going to get visitors. Ozawa banese, a blue bird. Ozawa banese. This is a blue jay. So that's three birds. And here's another blue jay. Blue jay. This one is a baby chick. Everybody likes chicken. This is a pakakwe. Pakakwe. So he's right in there with the birds. So we're going to count these birds. Bejik, Nij, Niswe, Niwen, Nanin. Once more. Bejik. Nish, Nisway, Niwin, Nanin. Bejik, Nish, Nisway, Niwin, Nanin. So that's how we're going to count the birds. And so that's pretty much. That's pretty much this section of the video, which has to do with learning the names of the animals and counting up to five. So, um, next um, we're going to go into another short video. And I brought a very, 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 very special friend. And I hope all the kids, I hope you all, the children that watch the video love this visitor that we have here coming up coming up next and he wants to show you something but let me move these aside so we can bring them up here him in his him him in his um, buddies because we're gonna learn something today okay Let me move all the away so we'll go over here. Okay, so let's get ready. Look at here. Who came to visit? Opanig. Shishtik one opanig. Mr. Potato Head. Look at here, there's even a Mrs. Potato Head. So, they wanted to show you something today. So, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head and their little guy. So, okay. Are we ready to learn something today? 
Okay, so so when you're on when 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 you go to school and when you grow up, you learn things. And how do you learn things? Well, look at here. Whoa. He ain't gonna learn anything because he don't got no ears. Tugawasug. Tugawasug. Can you say that? Tugawasug. Your ears. Tugawasug. Well, he is not gonna learn anything because he ain't got no ears. When you got ears, you do what? Nundawa. Here. Nundawa. With your ears. Tagawasug. Tagawasug. They help you to listen. We'll give him his ears back because he needs to he needs to be able to hear. There's your ears. What are these? You close them when you go to sleep at night. Eyes, right. Right. We need our eyes. What do we need our eyes for? To see. Wabama. Ningi wabama. I need we wabama to see. I will see. You see with your eyes. So we better give him his eyes back so he can see. What's next? We did the ears. We did the eyes. Oh, I got it. The nose. She needs her nose to smell. Po Beach a mama, Pawaji gay. Whoo, you don't want to smell the skunk. No, no, no. How do you say nose? Oh, John. Oh, John. Can you say, oh, John? Oh, John. That's how you say the nose, oh, John. What does the nose do? Beach a mama. Smell. Beach a mama. Smell. Beach your mama. Smell. So we learned about the ears. Tagawasak. We learned about the ojis. Ojisadun, your eyes. We learned about the nose. Ojan. Beach your mama. It smells. Now. <gasps> what is this? Odun, Odun, the mouth. This is the mouth, Odun. What does the mouth do? Taste. Oh, that tastes good. Minipugit. When it tastes good, you say Minipugit. Minipugit. When you chew your food up, Minipugit. How do you say mouth? Odun, Odun. So there is your mouth, and what does it do? Taste. You taste and chew up your food. Use your mouth, even to ikido, ikido, speak. Anishinaabe mose, to speak ikido, anishinaabe mose, to speak Indian. Oh, we're not there yet. We did the ears to listen, ears to listen, eyes to see, nose to smell, mouth to taste. What is the fifth one? Can you guess what the fifth sense is? Ta-da! What are these? Hands, oh ninja. 
What are we going to do with the hands on Ninja? Touch. Tangina. Tangina. We use our hands to touch. Tangina. Dukina. Touch. Touch. We need our hands to touch. So now you learn five senses today. We learn five senses today. Oh, me which kishi money do. Me which kishi money do. I can nundawa. Ni takawa suck my ears. Can hear nundawa. Me which kishi money do. Ni ojis. I can see. Ni wapama. Ni mama. Ni dede. My dad and my mother. Oh, me which kishi money do for ni o john. Niwi Pawaji Gay. Good food. Niwi Sinin. Ni Odun. My mouth. Thank you, Gizhi Money Do. Mi Jim. Minapugit. The food tastes good. Oh, me which Gizhi Money Do because now I have my hands and I can touch. So how many senses does he have? Ears, one. Eyes to see, two. Nose, three to smell. Mouth to taste, four. And hands to touch. There. So that's what Mr. Potato Head and Mrs. Potato Head came here to teach you today. Come here to teach you all about your five senses. So like, don't forget, ears to listen, eyes to see, nose, ojan to smell, odun to taste, and ninj, your hands to feel and touch. There you go, tugawasug, tugawasug. Say it, tugawasug, your ears. Your ears, oh geez, your eyes, oh geez, your nose, oh doon, oh doon, oh, oh John is your nose, oh doon is your mouth for tasting, and ninja, your hands to touch. Me quitch, me quitch for coming here today, Mr. Potato Head and Mrs. Potato Head, me quitch. Gigawaba Minaminawa. And we've been at it for a while now. Okay, so this is what else I want to teach them. So we learned some of the animals' names and we learned how to count. And we learned the five senses. And so, like, um, we got a little bit of time to learn something else. So, let's, let's, uh, let's do this. So, like, touch the sky. You cannot. Ishpiming. Say it. Ishpiming. Touch the sky. Ishpiming. Touch the earth. Dakina aki, aki, touch the earth, aki. Ni mama aki, the mother earth, touch the earth, mama aki, touch the sky, ishpiming, ishpiming, touch the water, nibi, nibi. So, face to the east, face east. Awaiting the grandfather, a Mashomis money do geeses. When he comes up, he rises in the east. He travels. Basic, basic haji when he, he rises in the east and then he goes across the road in the sky. So you want to face east. That's where he comes up, the grandfather. So face the east and say it after me. Say it. 
Wapano Wapano Winde by a got a so canug Wapano Winde by a got a so canug The spirits who are sitting in the east Wapano Winde by a got a so canug Okay, so now we're going to face the south. Like the warmth of the south comes from the south because we're north of the creator of the equator. So we face the south. To say south, you say, Jawa Nung. Jawa Nung. Jawa Nung when they buy a got a so kanag. Jawa Nung when they buy a got a so kanag. Jawa Nung, south. When they buy a got a so kanag, it means the spirit sitting in the south. Okay, so now we, we learned east and we learned south. Now we're going to go and keep going counterclockwise. We're going to face the north. Ningabia nung wende bai gada so kanug. That's where the sun sets. The sun goes down in the west. Wende bai e gada so kanug. Ningabia nung. Say it. Ningabia nung. Ningabi Anung, West. When they buy a got a so kanug to those spirits in the West. A minawa also, those benesiwag. Windawa and Damawat in Gil, those benesiwag. Also those spirits, those thunderbirds over there. That echo from over there. So now we're going to go turn once more. We're going to face the north. How do you say north? Gi waden, gi waden, gi waden, north. Gi waden, gi waden. How do you say the spirit sitting in that direction? When they buy egg out of so kan nug. When they buy egg out of so kan nug. So you're talking to the north direction. So then you come back, you're back facing the east after you have circled. Then you want to acknowledge the earth. You acknowledge the Ishpeming, but you have to go back up there again because you have to acknowledge the grandmother, Tabikagesis. Tabikagesis is a grandmother light that comes up in the east and goes down in the west. And that's our grandmother, Tibikagesis. Tibikat means night. Tibikagesis means a night light. That's Nokomis, our grandmother. Just like in the daytime, we also have a light, a Mashomis, Manidu Gesis. Tibikagesis at night, Manidu Gesis during the day. So, like, we have to go back up there and think. Tibikagesis, the grandmother, and the Anangug, and the other Kina Manidumugs up there in the Ishpeming. And we also went down to thank, to touch the earth, and to thank the word is Nawakamig. Nawakamig, the spirits in the center of the earth, the Nawakamig. And also the Nibikan, the water spirits. So we're learning. We're learning who we who we are talking to, when we pray and ask for help, and uh, what direction we go with our tobacco. Like you put your tobacco in your hand and you pray, and it's up. There you go, Gichimani do the great spirit. Then you bring your hand down. Then you're going to bring your hand up again. For who? To Bikagesis, Anangub, the stars, and the other spirits up there in the Ishpeming. Then you're going to take your hand, put it down to the earth. That's for the Nawakamig and Gayeda Nibakan and the water spirits. Then that's when you go to Wabanum. When they buy a goddess, so kind of, the spirits in the east, in the west, 
Like a lot of people go, Wabanung, Jawanung, Ngabianung, Kiwaitanung. But really, you properly say, Winde by a gotta so kanug, Winde by a gotta so kanug, Winde by a gotta so kanug, Winde by a gotta so kanug. Because you're talking to those spirits in that particular direction. So then, after you do all that, up, up, down, four directions, then you take your tobacco and you go back up, or your pipe, you go back up. And the last one that wants to be acknowledged is the Mashomasanan Mani Dugesis. So like, if he's gone the Kaj over the hill, then you just let him know that tomorrow he's going to find that tobacco. So, like, you will see the you will see this at ceremonies and at drums and stuff. People pointing their pipes and stuff to to these uh, spirits that live that live. They're in the order of life. That in my first video I talked about. A, a order of life and who came first and the human beings came last that's who we're talking about they are they give us help a dakawa shin in our life so like that's how you're gonna pray with your tobacco and uh, offer it and then lastly you see them they'll point their pipe or at, offer their tobacco to their drum feathers on the drum and that to include everything of life um, so they have a minubamadizi when a good life so you know and then there's just some that just talk and they just put their tobacco in their hand and they don't go with all the directions and all that and they just talk and that's the way the grandmothers are our grandmothers and our mothers pray for us and when our grandmothers and our grandfathers pass on, then it's really sad. A manendum, manendum is sad because then you wonder who's going to be praying for you. And then you, you become a parent, then you pray for your children. So it is good to learn how to pray, you know. And um, so that's all I really wanted to try to touch on. I did bring my pipe and stuff, but I didn't assemble it, and I just wanted to touch on that for one more time, you know, and thank you. Um, and we'll see you again next week, and I have a special video next week. I'm going to bring my Dewegenains, so I'm going to bring my pipe, I'm going to bring some of my spiritual objects, and, um, and I might even pick a few medicines along the road and bring them in. Um, so this I just wanted to like bring out all the animals and stuff and and go through counting and the five senses for the children and I wish that we didn't have to go by video and we could all meet up live and um, so but thank you <laughs> thank you. Miigwech.